You want to know how to de-escalate a meltdown with a PDA child. So here are my tips for you. First, reframe a temper tantrum under your child's control or motivated behavior to this is a panic attack, a nervous system response, or even a seizure. Two, remove objects that could be dangerous and other children from the room. You can alert the PDA or with declarative language saying, I'm going to move this now so they don't escalate even more. Three, don't touch the PDA or, or try and restrain them or move them from the room because that will be perceived as a loss of autonomy and escalate that fight flight response even more. Four, reduce spoken communication and try and bear witness to the pain that they're experiencing by staying proximate and in their line of vision, but without trying to stop it or speak to them too much. Five, during this time, once you see them start to come down a little bit, you can say things like, I'm so sorry that you're feeling this way, or I'm so sorry that this is happening, or I wanna help you, or I'm here. Six, as they start to come down, you can try and incorporate humor and blaming an inanimate object to take away the shame and self-loathing that can come from these intense panic attacks. So you could say something like, oh, that stupid video game that made you lose. What an annoying game. They may immediately escalate and say, stop talking or scream or throw something, in which case we take that as a sign of like their nervous system is still activated. I'm going to stay present and proximate and bear witness. Seven, during the bearing of witness and when you're like holding space for this very difficult amount of dysregulation, I like to draw on spirituality or inner strength that's more than just my human strength and I picture like a beam of light going from my heart to my son's heart. Other people like to picture a spiritual figure or sometimes I picture my grandmother's like papery cheek against mine to give me strength. Eight and final, once the child has de-escalated, remember it's a panic attack and not under their control. So even though you want to punish them or teach them a lesson, Try and bring them recovery things like a glass of water, an iPad, a weighted blanket, or a stuffy to make them feel better and help them recover.